Chapter 2 will be about biological molecules. So what are biological molecules? Let's talk about life. And more in particular, let's talk about the human. We are basically made up of organ systems. Let's focus on one simple organ system. Example of the organ system will be the digestive system. The organ system, it consists of organs. For example, the small intestine. The small intestine is basically an organ. If we were to focus on just the organ of the small intestine, just as a simple organ like this, if this is our small intestine right here, our small intestine consists of tissues. This is just the villus of the small intestine where absorption takes place. So we have different types of tissues. And the epithelial tissues are made out of cells. So we are organisms and organisms are made up of organ systems. Organ systems are made out of organs. Organs are made out of tissues and tissues are made out of cells. Now comes the most important question for this particular chapter. What are cells made out of? You see, the cell itself is actually a living unit. But here's where it becomes a little bit odd. Even though the cell is a living unit, the building blocks of the cell are not alive. So the cell is made out of five main biological molecules, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, nucleic acids, and water. See, if you wanted to make a cell, these are the five main things you would require. And what's even more unique is all these five main molecules are considered non-living molecules. Yet, when they come together in such a beautiful manner, they form a living unit. And that living unit is the cell. That's why biological molecules are important, because it's the study of what you are made out of. So, in chapter 2, our main focus will be four of these molecules. Our main focus will be the four of these molecules, which are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and water. We will not focus so much on nucleic acids because uh, in Cambridge Biology, we will be looking at nucleic acids in Chapter 6.